Hey y'all, Techie Veggie here. Wait, hold on. Hey y'all, Techie Veggie here. Back with another video for you. And as you can see, it's mad brick outside, but I'm out here because I got a piece of cold weather tech for you. And you probably seen these popping up on like Wish and Amazon and AliExpress and other places. So today we're gonna go over the Bluetooth Winter Trapper hat. So let's talk about what makes this hat special. So as I mentioned, it has Bluetooth in it. So it's able to connect with your phone and you're able to control music through it, listen to podcasts, you know, take phone calls, has the ability to do all of that. And here is the panel on the side where you have all of your controls. So as you see in the middle, you have your play pause, you have the plus sign, that's your track forward and also volume up. The minus is your track back and also your volume down. Play pause also will answer any phone calls if you happen to get one while you're using the hat. So you have full control of you know all your multimedia plus phone calls, which is a nice bonus as well. You don't get that with every uh, set of headphones. So when it comes to the actual features, let's dig into that. For music, I'm gonna give these a solid C. The reason for that being that obviously they're not gonna be like an audiophile set of headphones. However, if you're listening in a pinch, like you're clearing snow off the car, taking a quick walk somewhere, and you just want some music to kind of, you know, lighten the mood a little bit, they're fine for that. For, in, for your, you know, your general listening purposes, they're not too bad, but once you start listening to, let's say, like more complicated, you know, high production value music, like let's say you're listening to Flying Lotus or, you know, Daft Punk or something like that, you're going to notice that the songs fall apart very quickly when they're very complex, and it almost sounds like you're listening to a higher end skeleton of a beat versus actually listening to a finished product of a song. So that's why I'm giving it a C because it's not that high quality music product, but it's not absolute garbage where it's like just un completely unusable. It's serviceable in a pinch. So yeah, I buckled the hat back because uh, it's cold outside and I don't care about continuity that much. So <laughs> here we go. Uh, anyway, for the next activity with the hat you have is listening to podcast. And for that, I would give this hat a B. And the reason for that is because you're mainly listening to vocals. You're not going to have a lot of the same issues as far as listening to music. However, some podcasts do have music when it comes to like intros, outros, interludes, and sometimes in the background. So for that, it may affect the listening experience a little bit. But in general, for podcasting, you're going to have a pretty solid experience with these headphones since they, or with the hat since the, the speakers in them do have pretty good volume. So you'll be able to hear it over a, a lot of uh, environmental noise, despite the fact that they're pretty open. All right, for feature number three, you have phone calls. And for phone calls, it's really bad. I'm, I'm going to give it a D. And the reason I'm giving it a D is because at first I was thinking F. I was taking a phone call outside of my office and it was nearly unusable, like being able to hear it over street noise. I was in a plaza, so I'm set back from the street a little bit. But just all that environmental noise made it nearly impossible to hear. I didn't even try to talk to who I was talking to on the phone with it. it was, the phone started ringing. I could barely hear it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to listen to it right on the phone. Um, I took another phone call later in the day when I was in an Uber and, you know, just here having, you know, tire noise. And that was pretty much it. Um, I was able to hear just fine. And the other person on the line was able to hear me just fine when I was talking to them. So without, you know, that perfect listening experience, like you're, the phone call is not going to come out that well, but in a pinch, if you happen to be in that situation where there's not much background noise, you're not outside, there's no wind you're competing with, anything like that, you'll be able to get a phone call in a pinch, but definitely not a feature I would recommend using for real with the uh, Bluetooth hat. So last but not least, what in my opinion is the most important feature of the hat, even though it's not a tech feature, how it functions as a hat. <laughs> so with that, I would give it a solid A as a hat. It's great, it's comfortable, fur lined, you know, it keeps you warm, it has a snap on the bottom, so it gives you a little more coverage down here. You know, you got the, the mask on it, so if it's really cold outside, pull that across, buckle it, and then you have no worries about, you know, the cold hitting a lot of your face as well, helps you protect you in that way as well. So it's an excellent hat, and the total price of it was $11.37. So can't even be upset with that either. You're not spending a ton of money on it. And it's a great hat that happens to have the bonus features of the Bluetooth music capabilities. If you're gifting it to someone, that's the way I would present it. That's the way I would think of it. You're getting a great hat that happens to have that bonus versus having like headphones that are the bonus of being a hat. 
Uh, and with that, that wraps up this review on the Bluetooth Trapper hat. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen, go ahead, click that like button down below. Of course, subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on anything going on and hit that notification bell as well while you're down there. Of course, make sure you follow me on social media so you can stay up to date on everything with the channel. And until next time, Techie Reggie out.